Hey guys, this is a Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Now it's a pretty big phone and it keeps all of the same design aspects as most of the other Samsung devices out there. It has the buttons across the bottom and it also has the same layout on the back except something that's a little bit different with this phone is that it's a little bit more square and the back has this leather feel to it but it's not really leather, it's still plasticky. You can still take the back off and you can still bend the back piece if you want and you can even replace it. Now comparing this to the iPhone 5S, you can tell this is a monster of a phone. It has a 5.7 inch display, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's 1920 by 1080, it has 383 pixels per inch, and at first glance you would think this thing is too big to use as a phone as your daily driver, but it really isn't that bad. It's pretty lightweight, it's very thin, it's very easy to hold, and it actually feels pretty good in the hand too. The Note 3 also has impressive specs with a quad-core 2.3 GHz CPU and 3 GB of RAM. This thing is definitely a powerhouse. Does the Note 3 die really quickly in terms of battery life because of those high specs? Actually no, this has a 3200 milliamp battery and it is replaceable too. So it's pretty good if you want to replace the battery if it's about to die. You can put in another battery and it does last a pretty long time. So I'm fully aware that Samsung has been caught quote unquote cheating benchmarks, but it does score pretty high with Geekbench 3. And everything does run pretty smoothly on TouchWiz, which actually powers this phone on top of Android. This phone is fully capable of doing normal tasks or even gaming if you want to do that. It has really impressive specs, so there's no doubt that gaming and other tasks will work pretty much perfectly fine. Now, one of the best advantages with a phone like this is the screen is so big that you get so much more room to actually view things. So when you're in Chrome, if you're looking at things on the internet or you're just looking at your calendar, you'll just get a lot more room and things are just a little bit easier to read because of that big screen on this phone. Just like the Galaxy Note 2, this phone does have the S Pen, but they did add some new features to it. And if you take the S Pen out of its little area there, it does recognize that you take it out. And there's some options that show up down there on the screen. And one of my favorite things here is that you can actually take a little screenshot of the screen itself and you can choose what area of the screen you wanna take that screenshot. So you don't have to do a full screenshot, but you can mark a little area here and it kind of recognizes what shape you're starting to draw and it will show up there very easily. Now there's also another thing here called S Note and you can take all of your notes here if you wanted to and you can use a little S Pen if you want. You can also use your finger, it just works perfectly fine. There's another cool feature here that I really appreciate but it's even better here on the Note 3 than it is on the Galaxy S4. This is called multi-window. So you can grab multiple windows here and you can select which area you want them to appear in, which app you want it to be, and you can also rearrange and resize the applications themselves to get more room. You can basically multitask and it's pretty useful. The Note 3 also has a 13 megapixel rear facing camera with a flash and the pictures are pretty good here. Now the video also supports 4K recording which is just pretty insane for a phone. But let's go ahead and look at the pictures here in the video coming up in just a bit and definitely be sure to tell me what you think of the pictures in the video in the comments down below. So while the Note 3 is impressive with performance and features, you would think that the battery life is just going to be really terrible on this big screen, an HD screen with powerful specs. But I've been really impressed. The 3200 milliamp battery did a pretty good job at powering me through about a day and a half usage. But one thing that Samsung really needs to improve on is the standby life. The standby life is just absolutely awful. I could lose 10% overnight, which is just not okay. So you can grab this Galaxy Note for around $300, depending on your carrier. Now you can also expand the storage up to 64 gigabytes, so you don't really have to worry about that. So the Galaxy Note 3, I really do like this phone. The screen size has definitely grown on me. And since it is a 1920 by 1080 full HD display, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. The performance is there and the phone is pretty good as well. And of course it's supported by Android, so you get a bunch of stuff included like the Google Play Store. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to tell me what you think of this phone down in the comment section below. I will leave a link to full size pictures and all of that stuff in the description below the like button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.